Hello guys and welcome back to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Usually I have a lesson planned out and I tell you step by step how I'm going to do things. I'm going to do the same thing, however, I don't have the result planned out beforehand. And I think it's important to show you guys uh, tutorials like this because there's not always going to be one specific thing that a customer might want from you when you get into the business. So by doing like what I would like to call a um, as I do lesson, um, you guys will get to see kind of the problems that someone runs into, uh, how to overcome them, that sort of thing, and how creative you have to be, you know, while you're while you're doing the project. You can't always think things out beforehand. So um, I've grabbed this picture of this guy skateboarding off of the internet on a Google image search. We do not own it or it's not one of us um, in the picture but it is a very cool picture so I thought I would use it and um, we're just gonna go ahead and get started now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna duplicate this layer because I don't want anything to happen to this image in case I wanna uh, use it again for something now right off the bat just sitting here thinking while talking to you guys I've decided what I first thing I wanna try is and the first thing I wanna do is there's no shadow for this guy and so what I want to do is I want to create a shadow of him over here on the wall and it's it's really not that hard to do that but it will take me a little bit of time and that will probably be this first lesson we'll probably do a set of like three lessons on this thing so that that'll be the first lesson so let's go ahead and do that um, first thing we're gonna do is see if if we can just select out the character um, around him so first thing we want to do is we want to zoom in and I'm going to grab the magnetic lasso tool because the shadow doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to select out around this guy's uh, basic body. And around his shoulders. I want to make sure to get the uh, skateboard in there because, and pretty good on the skateboard because you want it to definitely uh, look like a skateboard shadow when you do it. So, and another thing, just you know, sitting here while I'm thinking and, and, and doing this with you guys, um, this this whole shot's going to have to be adjusted the colors of it because right now it's so bright and it looks good because like for a magazine or whatever, but it doesn't really show, uh, you know if we put a shadow on it, it won't really look realistic at all. It's going to look very, very fake. So we need to fix that. And to do that, we have to adjust the colors of the image and kind of get a more... Uh... All right, so we got the guy basically selected out. And now we need to go in and deselect this inner area here, um, which I'm just going to use the Polygon Lasso tool for. Hold down Alt, and then you can just start clicking away and it shouldn't take too long because it's just a basic shape in here. Um, if you guys want to use this image that I'm using here, um, I have provided it below the tutorial on our website, pixelforlife.com. Um, you know, I can't promise that it will always be up because uh, it's not our image, and if they decide to take it down, we have to respect that. So, uh, yeah, you guys will have to find your own. But I just went to the image, uh, Google image search and I typed in skateboarder and this was one of like the first three or something like that. So, so anyways, there's our shadow or, or our selection for the shadow. So let's create a new layer. Let's go ahead and fill that with black. And you'll see here, like I said, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to bring it over here. We're going to hold down Control and Alt, or actually just Control. And we're going to kind of adjust this like so, because we want it to be uh, more like a realistic shadow. And the way his body is currently turned, this would be a little bit more realistic. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go ahead. Whoa, I'm sorry about that. that thing jumped out. And then we're going to go. I forget it does that when I have my screen like this. We're going to go ahead and just go through the layer blend modes here. And you'll see like this one here creates a nice effect over this part, but it doesn't really um, go over it. But if you look at soft light, it, it looks like a really nice shadow. And then we can just kind of go like so, down about 55. 
Now, another thing I want to do is I want to blur it just a little bit. So about about 1.5, I'm thinking, is going to be pretty, yeah, 1.5 is pretty nice. And just like that, we now have a shadow on this image, and it looks like our actual skater because we cut it out, and it looks really sweet. Now, that, that looks great, and that's all, you, that's all I really wanted to show, but um, we're going to go ahead and take it a little bit further. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this image here, duplicate it again, and this time we're going to go to uh, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to blur it out about like so. Now you're asking me why, but you'll see why in a second. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Hard Light, and you'll see here that it creates this unbelievable effect that it's just, it's so cool. And people in like magazines and stuff, they use this all the time. And although it's not 100% realistic, it really makes the skater look awesome. But we might, now this is just, uh, uh, you know, up to you guys, but you might want to go in there like that and do something like that. Or get even more detailed and actually just go in and just uh, undo his face so that you can really see his face nice and clear like that. And then maybe his board so that you can definitely see that, hey, this is his board. You know what I mean? And if you take that off and you look at the original in comparison, there's just no comparing the two. And this new one just looks so much better. I mean, it's like years above. And you just want to go through um, and kind of delete little bits on the shirt here to kind of get some of the details back because you don't want the details of the shirt missing out of this shot. Um, because you definitely want those to be standing out because it's some of the most important stuff. And now it, it, it already, it's not perfect yet, but it already is starting to kind of look uh, like, like a uh, magazine shot, like it's ready to go. But I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work perfectly, but I do want to try it. So let's go ahead and go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. Now lighting effects is really cool. So what I'm going to do is I want to come from about this angle here. And I want to do it about like so. And I'm just going to adjust these properties a little bit. Like I said, you know, I don't have all this planned out, so I'm just kind of adjusting till I think it looks good. And remember that um, all of our tutorials are in high def format, and you guys can um, select them uh, or, or buy them through our HD store um, and then on magazines we have a couple of free ones as well which this one might end up being um, so you know work with it and 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 always be af don't be afraid to experiment is what I want to tell you guys because there's so many possibilities if you do it right so anyways this I think this is gonna look good so I'm gonna hit OK and yeah that looks good and it actually is a lot more realistic than before because if you look at the two before the light is kind of over in this area which it really should be over here because the shadow is over here. And now that we've done this, it's it's portraying that pretty well. Um, so, only thing I want to do is I want to go in to this hand here, and I want to erase the 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 bloom effect that we did before on this on his hand and stuff because I want to make sure that you know you can definitely tell that this is this this guy here. So, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna erase this off his arm. And you really only have to go to his shirt because it's, it's white anyway. So, And there we go. His hand stands out. His body stands out. He looks really good. And so now we just need to put some titles on it and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab this like so. A little selection, kind of an angled selection. And we're going to go ahead and just put this on here. Go to Overlay. And let's see here. Actually, let's just leave it at normal. Let's just do it down the opacity a little bit. Just drop a shadow from that. We'll do it from the top, like so. Mm, don't really need that. Stroke it. Nah, it just looks good. Just leaving it alone. And then we're just going to put the word skateboarder. kind of like so and we'll just do this right here because this looks pretty sweet 